Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. We have a lot to cover today, and you've got the whole day ahead of you. So turn on your brain as I rip through the top geophysical, astronomical, and observer science news items. We're starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star, and it was a calm day up there. Not so much down here. Solar flaring remains in low M-class range with a few notable sunspots, but nothing scary happening at them at the moment. Southern coronal hole coming in, plasma filament to the north of it. We've got eyes open on our star, but the big story yesterday was our awaiting the coronal mass ejection to impact Earth. It was forecast for around dinner time in the eastern U.S., but it struck several hours early. Modest impact, but it was able to drive a significant BZ southward event as it interacted with Earth's magnetic field, allowing for a nice auroral display from the level 2 geomagnetic storm condition was a good impact, but just not very powerful. One of my favorite ways to check this is to see not only the amplification of the storm impact, which you see on the right side of the seven day magnetometer readings here, definitely took a punch from the sun, but the biggest events take the dips down below the zero line, momentary magnetic reversals, which did not happen here. Looking ahead, this event should be waning now, but we've got eyes on the sunspots, the plasma filaments, and the solar wind telemetry for any further arrivals and, in the coming days, arrival of the potential coronal hole stream. The top earthquake of the last day, thankfully a pressure release out in the middle of nowhere. Always good when the big ones seek solitude to get their anger out. The far eastern storm in Oceania is weakening as it drives towards Antarctica past New Zealand. We've got a new system developing north of Australia and the cyclone we've been discussing to the northwest is now slated to make landfall as it weakens, but in the bay there, that is still going to be a big event. On to the science news where we begin with a mysterious magnetar. They say they needed to rework their understanding of how they form since this one couldn't be the supernova created version they thought was normal. They make some interesting and not terrible guesses as to what the origin is, but more importantly, a not so insignificant aspect of astronomy has just been turned upside down, like the thousandth one this decade so far. Folks, was anyone around for my Starwater video series in 2013? Basically, if you go to the halfway point of those videos, that's where NASA is right now, 12 years later. The answer is, of course, that yes, all the ingredients to create water come right out of stars, including the sun in the solar wind. Elemental amplification in big flares, and whether it's the lunar regolith or the ozone layer, we've got every ingredient in electrodynamic environments interacting. You probably get the picture, it's star water, and they're going to reveal it to the world in full before too long. Lastly, folks, Mars. Oh, so it wasn't enough that they now claim the dead planet actually has a molten and dynamic mantle waking up, but now a liquid core as well? Honestly, the work here isn't horrible. They're just stuck 20 years in the past with only half a toolbox. Folks, they were not wrong in the past when they said that Mars interior was totally dead cooled and solid, but indeed it's waking up now as part of the solar system shift and they're getting that data left and right. Folks, the next issue of Observer Review comes out today. It's the best way to review the month's top stories in their bigger puzzle place, like the solar system shift. And on the members page, you can get instant access to two years worth of issues and special presentations when you sign up. It's actually more information than is in all three of my books combined and this is less than $7. Link below. And don't forget, there's a ton happening at Observer Ranch this summer. Go to ObserverRanch.com to see the events page, see what we've got available, and any way you want to stay, we will make that work. Lots of options. ObserverRanch.com. Can't wait to see you. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.